Kenny, a hard fought win today. Um, what are your thoughts on the new match? Yeah, very pleased. You know, last time we played Livingston, it was a free old game up at Almondvale. Um, and uh, we've bettered that, we've got a win. Uh, so overall, very pleasing. So obviously the first half, um, we had to really fight for it. We got the lead though. Um, it was yeah. Daniel Forsyth, they managed to scramble ball over the line there. So how is that for you that we managed to keep up a good level of pressure in the first half mm -hmm. and really just sort of took the game to Livingston and managed to sort of fight our way out and get that lead into the break? Yeah, I think it translates from training. We had two good training sessions uh, with a good attendance and uh, a lot of the good things we worked on certainly translated today. Um, we knew Livingston played a back three. Uh, I think they went for 3-5-2 today and uh, to nullify that, we just played a 4-1-4-1. Uh, what that did is it gave us a bit of coverage against their, their back two and uh, we had you know man for man in midfield. Uh, Nick was great when she played. Uh, she stretched their back three really deep and that allowed for Amy and Dan to be effective coming into the wide areas. Uh, so yeah, I think everyone had a great game today and uh, we got the deserved win, I would say, as well. But just touching on the second half, obviously, yeah. unfortunately, Livy uh, managed to get back into the game from two goals down. Obviously, yeah. Hannah Mackley got us 2-0 up and then yeah. Livingston got the two goals back. Um, I think maybe a bit of momentum was lost with injury and everything. Yeah. But um, yeah. was that frustrating for you that we lost the two goals or was it just a case of, you know, the momentum had been lost because obviously Nick had picked up a serious injury and, you know, we were just needing to sort of refocus at that point? Yeah, I, I think that was the main reason. There was something that changed the game and uh, it was Nick's injury. Um, she was very vocal with pain from the dugout. Uh, you might hear that on the camera if you watch it back. And, and that distracted a lot of our players, I would say. Um, we managed to regroup and we got a good goal back through Amy Hay, uh, which, which allowed us to compose ourselves a little bit. Uh, and once the players knew that Nick was in good hands and treated, I think that's when we, we managed to get a bit more into the game and take more control. Uh, so it's unfortunate, but these things happen. And uh, hopefully we don't have many more experiences like that today with the injury. And obviously we've got the winner in the end. Um, again, that was just a testament to how good our pressure was today. Yeah. We managed to put pressure on Livingston. I think it was a Livingston um, defender managed to turn a cross into our own goal. So yeah. um, was that good for you that even though it was an own goal that we were, our pressure led to that situation? Um, yeah. Livy made that mistake and we managed to get the winner in there. Yeah, I think it was deserved. Overall, we created the better chances, I would say. Uh, especially in the first half and apart from that mad spell as you just mentioned I, I didn't think they really created much of a threat for us which was a surprise because they've got really good attackers in this team and uh, I think like ourselves Livingston could be an SPL2 team for sure um, but credit us to go to Amy Hay she, she put a fantastic cross with a lot of speed um, and, and that's made it difficult for the defender when it's coming to that angle she had to take a swing at it and, and anybody that coaches crosses and uses that as a, as a tool put it at that right height and you know, sometimes you get the luck and we did there. Uh, so really good, got the got the goal up and we saw the game out really well. We uh, a good defensive display. And finally, Ken, how good is it to get the three points? Um, obviously after a tough spell, obviously we've lost a few games and uh, coming into this one, it was after that disappointing defeat against um, Ross Bale. So how good is it to get the three points today and just sort of have that wee bit of extra momentum as we get yeah. to near the end of the season? Yeah, for me, I'm more performance driven. Uh, we said it to the girls at the start, we want them to perform, we want them to, to give it their all and, and that's what they did. Uh, regardless, if we'd, if we'd drawn that game 2-0 or Livingston had beat us 3-2, I would have still been very happy with the players um, and that's all we can ask from them. Uh, we've had a tough spell, yeah, you're right, and uh, we've lost a couple of players on the back of that. Normally when a team who wants to win the league sees that uh, go beyond them, you do get a little bit of down in tools or people even when the dream's over. And, uh, you know, the girls that were there today certainly showed that they were up for playing for the club and playing for each other mainly. Um, so, yeah, pleasing. It's, it's, it's another good thing to build on. And we have another tough game coming up next week. Uh, so we have to try and do more of the same. Thank you, Ken. Thank you.